chapter 8, the ordination of priests. God spoke to Moses. He said, take Aaron and with him his sons, the garments, the anointing oil, the bowl for the absolution offering, the two rams, and the basket of unraised bread. Gather the entire congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting. Moses did just as God commanded him, and the congregation gathered at the entrance of the tent of meeting. Moses addressed the congregation. This is what God has commanded to be done. Moses brought Aaron and his sons forward and washed them with water. He put the tunic on Aaron and tied it around him with a sash. Then he put the robe on him and placed the ephod on him. He fastened the ephod with a woven belt, making it snug. He put the breastpiece on him, and put the Urim and Thummim in the pouch of the breastpiece. He placed the turban on his head, with the gold plate fixed to the front of it, the holy crown, just as God had commanded Moses. Then Moses took the anointing oil, and anointed the dwelling and everything that was in it, consecrating them. He sprinkled some of the oil on the altar seven times, anointing the altar and all its utensils, the wash basin and its stand, consecrating them. He poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head, anointing him, and thus consecrating him. Moses brought Aaron's sons forward, and put tunics on them, belted them with sashes, and put caps on them, just as God had commanded Moses. Moses brought out the bowl for the absolution offering. Aaron and his sons placed their hands on its head. Moses slaughtered the bull and purified the altar by smearing the blood on each of the horns of the altar with his finger. He poured out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. He consecrated it so atonement could be made on it. Moses took all the fat on the entrails and the lobe of liver and the two kidneys with their fat and burned it all on the altar. The bull with its hide and meat and guts he burned outside the camp, just as God had commanded Moses. Moses presented the ram for the whole burnt offering. Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram. Moses slaughtered it and splashed the blood against all sides of the altar. He cut the ram up into pieces and then burned the head, the pieces, and the fat. He washed the entrails and the legs with water and then burned the whole ram on the altar. It was a whole burnt offering, a pleasing fragrance, a gift to God, just as God had commanded Moses. Moses then presented the second ram, the ram for the ordination offering. Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the ram's head. Moses slaughtered it and smeared some of its blood on the lobe of Aaron's right ear, on the thumb of his right hand, and on the big toe of his right foot. Then Aaron's sons were brought forward, and Moses smeared some of the blood on the lobes of their right ears, on the thumbs of their right hands, and on the big toes of their right feet. Moses threw the remaining blood against each side of the altar. He took the fat, the fat tail, all the fat that was on the entrails, the lobe of the liver, the two kidneys with their fat, and the right thigh. From the basket of unraised bread that was in the presence of God, he took one loaf of the unraised bread made with oil and one wafer. He placed these on the fat portions and the right thigh. He put all this in the hands of Aaron and his sons, who waved them before God as a wave offering. Then Moses took it all back from their hands, and burned them on the altar on top of the whole burnt offering. These were the ordination offerings, a pleasing fragrance to God, a gift to God. Then Moses took the breast and raised it up as a wave offering before God. It was Moses' portion from the ordination offering ram, just as God had commanded Moses. Moses took some of the anointing oil and some of the blood from the altar and sprinkled Aaron and his garments and his sons and their garments, consecrating Aaron and his garments and his sons and their garments. Moses spoke to Aaron and his sons, Boil the meat at the entrance of the tent of meeting and eat it there with the bread from the basket of ordination, just as I commanded, saying, Aaron and his sons are to eat it. Burn up the leftovers from the meat and bread, don't leave through the entrance of the tent of meeting for the seven days that will complete your ordination. Your ordination will last seven days. God commanded what has been done this day in order to make atonement for you. Stay at the entrance of the tent of meeting day and night for seven days. Be sure to do what God requires, lest you die. This is what I have been commanded. Aaron and his sons did everything that God had commanded, 
by Moses. Chapter 9 The priests go to work. On the eighth day, Moses called in Aaron and his sons and the leaders of Israel. He spoke to Aaron, Take a bull calf for your absolution offering and a ram for your whole burnt offering, both without defect, and offer them to God. Then tell the people of Israel, Take a male goat for an absolution offering and a calf and a lamb, both yearlings without defect, for a whole burnt offering and a bull and a ram for a peace offering to be sacrificed before God with a grain offering mixed with oil, because God will appear to you today. They brought the things that Moses had ordered to the tent of meeting. The whole congregation came near and stood before God. Moses said, This is what God commanded you to do, so that the shining glory of God will appear to you. Moses instructed Aaron, Approach the altar and sacrifice your absolution offering and your whole burnt offering. Make atonement for yourself and for the people. Sacrifice the offering that is for the people and make atonement for them, just as God commanded. Aaron approached the altar and slaughtered the calf as an absolution offering for himself. Aaron's sons brought the blood to him. He dipped his finger in the blood and smeared some of it on the horns of the altar. He poured out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. He burned the fat, the kidneys, and the lobe of the liver from the absolution offering on the altar, just as God had commanded Moses. He burned the meat and the skin outside the camp. Then he slaughtered the whole burnt offering. Aaron's sons handed him the blood, and he threw it against each side of the altar. They handed him the pieces and the head, and he burned these on the altar. He washed the entrails and the legs, and burned them on top of the whole burnt offering on the altar. Next, Aaron presented the offerings of the people. He took the male goat, the absolution offering for the people, slaughtered it, and offered it as an absolution offering, just as he did with the first offering. He presented the whole burnt offering following the same procedures. He presented the grain offering by taking a handful of it and burning it on the altar along with the morning whole burnt offering. He slaughtered the bull and the ram, the people's peace offerings. Aaron's sons handed him the blood, and he threw it against each side of the altar. The fat pieces from the bull and the ram, the fat tail, and the fat that covers the kidney and the lobe of the liver, they laid on the breasts, and Aaron burned it on the altar. Aaron waved the breasts and the right thigh before God as a wave offering, just as God commanded. Aaron lifted his hands over the people and blessed them. Having completed the rituals of the absolution offering, the whole burnt offering, and the peace offering, he came down from the altar. Moses and Aaron entered the tent of meeting. When they came out, they blessed the people, and the glory of God appeared to all the people. Fire blazed out from God and consumed the whole burnt offering and the fat pieces on the altar. When all the people saw it happen, they cheered loudly and then fell down, bowing in reverence.